Welcome to Tea with Toby and Tilts, where yeah. we learn about life lessons. <laughs> so what's your life lesson? My life lesson today is on giving language to emotions. Okay. So I was actually listening to a podcast, to a, yeah, it was a podcast yeah. with Sarah Jakes Roberts. Right. And she said something along those lines yeah. and immediately I paused it to have a think because right. I realized that I use the word overwhelm a lot. Right. I say... You do actually. I do, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I certainly do. Yeah. I use the word overwhelm a lot mm. and overwhelm really just means that you're burdened with a lot of emotion. Mm. But what emotions exactly are they? Right. And I, I realize that the, it's very important to be able to name what you feel, right. to give language to your emotions. Mm. So I started to do that. I, start, I stopped saying, even though I have said it already today, I stopped saying... I'm overwhelmed, or right. I might say that, but I pause and say, "What, what, ex what does that mean to us? Right, right, you know, what does right. it mean to be overwhelmed?" And then I might say, "I feel fearful." Right. Then I can say, "What are you fearful about?" Right. And then I nail it down, and the questions are, "What, what, what?" or mm. "Why, why, why?" Until I get to the root of mm. it and find that I was fearful of an imagination of a scene that right. has never, never even, even played out. Wow. Exactly. The other thing it does for me is it helps me pray right. more specifically. Right. Like I can say, Lord, help me with this thing that I'm afraid about. Yeah. You know, or if somebody, you know, so I, I, I didn't realize that I, I push some emotions under the carpet. Right. Um, or I explain them away mm. so that I don't have to feel them. Right. So if somebody offends me, I will explain it away because mm -hmm. I don't want to confront them. Yeah. And I don't want to feel oh. how they've made me feel. Yeah. So what I'll end up doing is excusing the, it like, oh, mm. they were probably having a right, bad day right, or they were probably right. this or they were... Meanwhile, my soul is hurting. Right. And you saw me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then what ends up happening is we have multiple layers of that happening, and then I now call it overwhelm. Right. But that's because I never addressed what I was actually feeling. Wow. So now I've been just really being intentional yeah. about naming my emotions. Right. And if I don't know the name up front, yeah. I keep digging until I can I can get to it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> All right. Mom. What are you learning? Hmm. I was going to say something. But I'm changing it now. Okay. Just off the back of what you said, I just feel maybe this Holy Spirit is telling me to, mm. to say this. Um, this is not my quote. I heard it from somewhere. Mm. I don't remember where now, mm. but it's resonated with me so deeply. And he said something to the point that um, rest, which mm. is a big thing for we entrepreneurs, isn't mm -hmm. it? Rest shouldn't just be a response to fatigue. Right. Because for me, the only time I can justify taking a break or mm -hmm. resting mm -hmm. is if I am tired, wow. physically tired. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I am just going and Keep going, going and going. Mm -hmm. But rest should be a response to accomplishment. Okay, interesting. Because whether mm -hmm. or not you feel the physical fatigue, you have been depleted. Wow. Because you've given so you much. Have. Never thought about that. Neither have I. Mm. So as you know, we had this event. Mm. And immediately after the event, I was immediately going to, okay, what next? You know, what are we doing next? What are we doing that? You know, how do I, um, uh, what do I do with um, the content? Right. So immediately I got back to, you know, that mood. And I felt the Holy Spirit saying, no, hmm. you need to sit back and chill. Hmm. You've earned it. Hmm. Just because you're not physically fatigued right. Right. doesn't mean there hasn't been a depletion. Wow. And um, so you have to be intentional about hmm. taking the break. And still along the, the lines of um, what we should do, even if we don't feel we've earned it, you know, it's been intentional about scheduling rest, right. scheduling fun, mm. 
and rewarding ourselves. Yes. You know, so we don't need to feel like we have earned it um, to deserve it. Exactly. You know, we need to put that in our lives right. because it colors our lives. Okay. It rewards us for just being us. So now, um, you know, I'm preaching to myself because you know, I'm not there yet. <laughs> and but, to me as well. Yeah. Really so, good. so yes. Yeah, so scheduling rests. So now I, I, you know, I had somebody who wanted to make an appointment to, to um, be with me or to have a meeting with me a few weeks ago, and I had scheduled that time right. to chill. Okay. And by chill, I mean just. Do nothing. Do nothing. Mm -hmm. Watch Netflix. Right. Hang out. Mm -hmm. And she was going to schedule a time with me there. So when I looked at my calendar, that time slot was free. Okay. And I was. It took everything. <laughs> it took everything I had to say. No, mm. I don't have that time. Mm. And on that day, I took that time for me. Wow, that's good. I relaxed. Mm. I chilled. Same thing with after this event, I took like a week out. That's brilliant. One whole week mm. to just relax, you know, so we don't need to wait until our body is telling us, mm. you know, I'm tired, I'm weak. No, okay. schedule rest and know that rest shouldn't just be a response to I fatigue. So that's a big one. I'm still that's that still, is a big one. That's still a work in progress for me. So well I'm not done. I'm not talking from a point of being an <laughs> no, expert on but, this but topic. It's, it's, <laughs> it's actually very yeah. wise advice. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that. Yeah. It's something I need to it reminds me of um, a lesson I learned some time back about guilt. Yeah. Where I suddenly realized that when I make a mistake or I do something wrong, I employ guilt as payment for what I've done wrong. Right. And God was saying to me, but my son has already paid for mm. it. All of your errors, all of your mistakes, right. he's paid the price for it. Right. So you don't need to punish yourself by feeling, because guilt is right. a form of self-punishment. Right. You don't need to inflict guilt on yourself to say, somebody's got to pay for the mistake that you made. Yeah. And where that ties into what you said right. is when you said, we shouldn't rest when we think we've earned it. Right. You know, in the same way, the mindset that thinks that yeah. they, ha they have to earn rest. Yeah, yeah. It's the same mindset that thinks they've got to pay for mistakes. Right, right, right. So all of it is is really us learning as God's children yeah. to just simply bask in his presence yeah. and just be and yeah. really just enjoy life without feeling it has to be paid for yeah. because Jesus has paid for it already. It, it, it is. It's that thing of that thing of feeling you've earned. Mm, mm, you know, mm. and I think it's a culture thing. Right. All our lives, mm -hmm. you know, you are rewarded, rewarded. for achieving. Yeah. You know, and then you get to this point where God is telling you, you know, right. you are the prize. Yeah. I'm just gonna give you anyway. Exactly. You know, I've done the heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. You know, so and that's why the guilt sometimes i feel guilt for experiencing something good mm -hmm. that i don't think you i worked hard for mm -hmm. and it's a big thing for me mm -hmm. like the emotions even around that is underwhelming like this great thing just happened yes and i'm a bit numb like wow. what just happened there mm -hmm. like i can't it doesn't make sense for this to, wow. to happen this way for me so is it almost as though there needed to have been a lot more work done to yeah so if i results. went through the grind mm, you'd appreciate it not, it's not an appreciation thing yeah. but you feel like you've earned, earned it. it so there's a template mm, like okay mm. i did this i got this makes mm, sense right and it's it's not something you you do consciously right. subconscious, it's subconscious yeah. you know but when you come to a point that whether you grinded mm. or you didn't you know, it's God that gives right, the result, right. and it's His result Absolutely. towards His own agenda exactly. and purpose. You know, so I'm learning now um, to enjoy whatever it is mm -hmm. that uh, God has blessed me to achieve, mm -hmm. um, and to realize that sometimes the work that delivers the results is not something that just happens in the right. last day or two or yes, month yes, yes. sometimes it's a combination of decades mm -hmm. of investing yes. time and mm -hmm. doing what you're supposed to do mm -hmm. and then suddenly you know something happens in two weeks right um, and you're like how mm -hmm. you know and god reminds you 
You've been working at it. Yeah, you've been, and he's been preparing, and this, this is right, just, right. you know, so the, that whole thing of um, deserving, mm -mm. yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. Oh, man made. Yeah. Man made laws. Yeah, mm -hmm. comparison. Yeah. That's, true. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Great.